I've just been uh, I'm in the process as you probably know you're probably sick of hearing about it of moving into a new studio that I had made in the as part of the house um, and I'm coming across things and I'm looking at them and I'm thinking I could do this to this I mean in, in all, to all intents and purposes this page was finished um, but I've decided I want to put danglers on the bottom of the page because I've been talking about danglers today in my ledgers class so I just thought I would do this with you a little bit with you uh, won't explain anything really about the process or why I'm doing what I'm doing because that's for uh, class but I just thought it'd be nice and I'm just loving having this space it's the first morning I've worked in here and I'm truly valuing it and appreciating it um, I'm at literally ensconced and I won't be disturbed okay it'd be very difficult to disturb me not because I've locked the door but because I'm, oh, now I've got a knot. You still get knots even in a new studio. I don't even know where it is. Um, there it is. But because people know that I'm out here and they know that I'm busy and so they want, I can't. I'm going to cut that off, it won't come through. Um, so that wasn't a very good start, was it? But never mind. Anyway, so I'm just loving being here. Um, then it's so peaceful and tranquil. Because it's attached to the house, but separate, if that makes sense. So. So I'll pick my beads up first. I think this is the right way around, what I did before. Not really counting them to be honest, apart from I prefer uneven numbers, odd numbers. So if I put five blue on, and then I've got three, four, five, six, two, four, seven on there. So I've got five blue on there. So if I put four orange, that'll be nine, and it means this one will hang lower than the previous one. Because I like these things to be uneven. So. So it will hang over. And get another one of these. And hopefully not get a knot. Let's push it down first. But also, try not to pull it too tight because I don't want the beads to be rigid. I want there to be a bit of movement in this. So, and also, it's not massively lower. I don't know why that would be. I don't mind having a little bit of the thread showing at the bottom either. So, that's another one. So if I do one more, um, then I'll crack on and do this whole page. I always think, I think, think, I think things are finished, but then I'll come back. I mean, it's weeks since I finished this page, but then I'll come back and I'll find that I'm minded to add something else. Um, Right, um, so I'll do a short one now. If I do two blue, no, blue was first. Blue's been first all the way along, hasn't it? So the first, do, do three orange and two blue and have an orange at the top. And two blue, one. Get another one of these. And again, don't pull it too tight because I don't want the beads to be very rigid. But I need that to be hugging the beads, that's it. There. 
And again, I'm not going to stress about leaving a little bit of the thread showing. So there, so I think that's quite nice. If I just move this, then I can uh, dangle it a little bit and see how it responds to what's going on. Got bits of thread everywhere. I actually need to cut this ribbon because it's uh, fraying badly. So I need to cut it diagonally. That's it. Right. I mean, they'll enhance when they're all the way along. It makes no odds. I mean, I wouldn't do anything. I'd like to think I wouldn't do anything that would like, have a negative impact on the page. I think they're going to enhance, aren't they? Yeah, I like them. 